Hello, my beautiful, beautiful Narc Free family. Uh, thank you for joining me here today. My name is Cree, and I'm hoping to help some of you today with the smear campaign. Um, and those of you who are being smeared right now, if you're needing coaching, uh, look down below or you've been smeared, uh, look down below and you can send me an email and I'll send you more information. Um, some of y'all are really, really bothered by the smear campaign. And that's because you're not understanding the correct way to view a smear campaign. Um, some of the people who are listening to the narcissist and believe the smear campaign, some of those people are flying monkeys and, uh, you know, they, they do whatever the narcissist wants for whatever reason. And there's nothing that you can do about that. They're team narc. So, you know, they're going to do what they're going to do. Some of those people didn't like you to begin with. Um, they could have been envious or jealous or whatnot. And so when the narcissist comes and says stuff to them, they want to um, go along with it because they wanted to see your demise anyways. But don't leave out the fact that you have a team of people that love you. If you stay focused on what the narcissist is doing and what lies they're telling on you, then you forget that you have a team of people that love you. Um, even if you have a team of one, even if you have one good friend who <laughs> believes the truth and what you're saying to them and no one else does, then it's you and that one person. If you're in a place where, cause some of y'all are overseas somewhere where I've heard of the gang stalking and stuff, and you may have no one, then your team of one won't be outside of you. Your team of one will be you. Okay. But that's still your team. All right. So you're going to need to change the way that you're looking at this. All lies come to the surface at some point in time. Might not be that day. It might be five years, might be seven years down the road. But every, every lie comes to the light at some point in time. People who don't believe you, they're not worth you uh, trying to tell them your side of the story. Matter of fact, it would be better for you just to focus on your healing because all this does is put you in constant fight or flight. The only power that a narcissist really has over you as it pertains to a smear campaign is you getting involved in it, trying to clear your name. Okay. They're causing confusion and they're out lying on you and that's okay. Some people are just pathological liars. Don't be attached to the outcome that one day they will tell the truth because you need to understand this. People who are pathological liars they lie so much that they forget what the truth is and they start to believe their own lies. So don't worry about, don't worry about if they ever tell the truth. Don't worry about it because the truth always gets exposed. So don't spend your time worrying about it. It's like you, you telling someone something that they've already decided that they're going to believe the smear campaign for whatever reason. And so now you're all stressed out. You're all triggered when you could have spent that time going for a walk, reading a book, meditating and working on becoming your best and highest self and not even entertaining it. I want you to start looking at what is happening to you more on a business level if you were at your job and someone started lying on you, would you spend all your time at work going to everybody at your job, trying to tell them your version of the story? Or would you talk to the people who need to know the truth, which is whoever is in charge of you? if that's the case and if they need to know. You probably wouldn't waste your time, okay? You probably really realistically wouldn't waste your time trying to tell everybody. It takes too much energy. And do you know what really irritates somebody who lies? Is you being unbothered. 
A messy, toxic person that lies on you lies on other people, not just you. Narcissists are very crafty in the way that they lie because if you look back, if you've had a romantic relationship with one of these individuals, when you look back over the relationship and you you start to you know become aware of what is going on and that they're lying to you, you start understanding that they not only lied to you during the relationship, they lied about other people to you. They didn't just lie to you about where they were, um, that they were living a double life and all this. They didn't just lie about that. When they told you stories about their childhood, the stories they told you were lies. And this is why they're good at making it so believable. Because when they tell the lies, part of the story is true. Part of it's true. So they slightly adjust other parts of the story. So you verify one part of the story with somebody, not realizing that you didn't verify the other parts of the story to the T. In order to do that, you'd have to have recorded what they said um, or... <laughs> Do you, do you get what I'm saying? Do you see how, how confusing this gets? They tell the truth about part of it just enough to make themselves seem credible. And then that little fluff they put in there, those little alterations, those little tiny things that a lot of times they're not actually lying. Let me, let me explain this. A lot of times what they'll do is they won't actually use words where they lie in parts of the story. They'll just omit parts of the story that they're telling. So by omission, it changes the story. And you see how that can be so chaotic and so confusing. And when you go and you try to clear it up, it just makes it even more confusing. It is my... Um, it is my opinion that the smear campaign is just, it is what it is. It's a bunch, bunch of foolishness and, and chaos and why bother? Why bother trying to clear your name? Now, with law enforcement um, or, you know, attorney, judges, things like that where it's important, then yes, absolutely. Clear your name, come with receipts. Um, you know, the screenshots, recordings, um, do what you need to do. But as far as going around trying to clear your name, I want you to think about that smear campaigns are always going on. We know with politicians, you have smear campaigns or, or you have uh, people who are uh, movie stars or uh, people who are in the music industry and stuff. And someone smears them and tries to discredit them to mess with their money or to mess with their the way they're seen to other people okay and you're you may not be a star all right or a politician but it's the same thing it's the same exact thing they're going around making up a lie with the intent that this will change people's viewpoint about you but do these people really matter or does CPS matter? Does the judge matter? Does law enforcement matter? Save your strength and your energy for the people who matter. People in your inner circle, in your inner court, who love you, who know you, those people matter. People in your outer court, the narcissist flying monkeys, the narcissist new supply. Baby, don't waste your energy trying to don't even, those of you who are tempted to tell the new supply, do not tell the new supply. Nobody told you. It is not your job to run around trying to help other people out. You you got to try to get out of this with your mind intact. Talking about going back, trying to help somebody else. You can't help nobody else when you're trying to actively help yourself. Stay out of it because part of it is that they want you scrambling 
trying to tell everybody so that the person that you tell will then go back and tell them what you said and then they can lie some more and then you have to go back and fix that and fix that and you see where this keeps you in this toxic loop it keeps you on this little hamster wheel trying to clean it up clean it up clean it up clean up how about you just throw your hands up and you don't clean it up how about you give it none of your attention how about you're unbothered how about you go after your healing? How about you chase after your dreams and win at everything? How about you just be unbothered? How about you save your mental health? <laughs> because your mental health can start to deteriorate trying to keep up with the lies of a person who lies to themselves. Do you hear how insane that sounds? You going out trying to clear your name to people that it doesn't matter to, to try to get justice that it didn't happen the way they said it happened about someone who is mentally disturbed, gets you caught up in the loop, and then now you're being hypervigilant, now you're... Um, in constant fight or flight trying to fix it trying to fix it trying to fix it now you're losing sleep now it's your hair is falling out you're exhausted now this is taking time away from your children or your family or your job do you see where this is going and that's their plan Sorry about that. That is their plan. That's always their plan is to keep you focused on them and on what they're doing. You're, you are leveling up. You are going onwards and upwards. Nowhere in your being do you want to stay stuck there. Get out of it deal with the things that are important in your life okay i hope this has been helpful to you all if you um like my content here on my channel i recommend checking out some other videos here if you like my content then uh subscribe to the channel if you feel led to subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up if you liked it anybody who's needing coaching look for my information down below and thank y'all so much for joining me and i hope that y'all are doing well that you are striving and thriving for better you will get through this the smear campaign is uh temporary uh the truth is permanent the smear campaign is temporary and it has a way of coming the the truth has a way of coming to light without you ever touching it leave it alone don't worry about it don't focus on it. it has a way and who when will people better believe it when they find out on their own narcissists mess over a lot of people not just you let these people find out on their own okay love y'all thank y'all for joining me bye bye my beautiful beautiful narc free family Mwah.